Uh, my name is Evgeny, and in the next um, eight or ten minutes, I'd like to talk to you and and show some of the iXL features that um, worked really well in my class and inspire them um, to practice at home on their own time, and also help me as a teacher determine um, uh, who need my help the most. So what I'm going to show you first is what I called top five. So this little feature, and if you don't know how to go to iXL, it's iXL.com and then our login here. So this little feature will show you the students, the top five students. And to go there, go to analytics first, and you can do it from your uh, homeroom computer and project it onto the board so that everyone can see it. So to do that, go to analytics, then dashboard right here and scroll down a little bit to students quick overview this is what we're looking at click here and here you go so this um, table right here will give you a comprehensive information about all students but it's a bit too hard to understand what I like to do how I like to use it is to show top five students how do you do that so first of all you're gonna sort questions in descending order so the students who answered the most questions will pop up first then I'll scroll up a little bit not to reveal all of them and then uh, at the end of the class or whenever you have you feel it's a good time um, can be a routine you show the top five IXL students so students who answered the most questions you can scroll down gradually to this student first and then there will you can reward those students with what kind of reward system you have in your class in my class, I have token economy, so students get our tokens, our points, so and then they get to spend them. So I'll get, I'll give the first person, the first place, uh, three points, and then the top two might be one point, top three, top four, top five, and another point. So all those five students will get some points. Now, what I can do also sometimes, if I see that all the same students are there. I can do top 10, I can show them who's top 6 and top 7 and 8 and 9 and 10 just to motivate them a little bit, just to show them, you know, they're almost there, they're almost there. they only need to answer like maybe 50 questions and they'll be top 5. This is one thing I do uh, differently. Another thing, sometimes I do top 5 boys, top 5 girls, if I see that, uh, well, mostly, you know, top out of 5 we have 4 boys, I can do top five boys so there will be top one top two top three top four and then there's a girl so top one girl then top two girl then top five boy and you know so forth just to give it now um, extra room for for students to be uh, praised so this is what I call top five um, another thing uh, that I should point out is the sorting so you can um, get the IXL to show you the results of only a specific period of time let's say this week so we started this week and um, so what it does actually just resets the uh, um, data so again take some clicking to get the um, descending order but then you see their names a bit different so you want my one to alternate from um, overall or weekly or top 10 top five boys girls it's it's completely down to you it's up to you just to keep it you know unexpected that then scroll down slowly and then students like it they actually almost like every day you know they come up to me and say teacher can we see top five top five please and you can use it as a as a like a reward at the end of the day if you perform well if you behave yourself well we'll see top five if we don't then sorry we won't see it and students try really hard because the only way they can climb the ladder is by answering questions. This is the teacher's overview. Students cannot have no access to it. So finally, there's one more thing I'd like to talk about and why I think it's so important, why I think it struck such a personal chord with students. If you think about the mechanics of this um, top five, it's basically a ladder board. Um, and if you are familiar with any kind of uh, online games that students play, Counter Strike or any kind of uh, massive online uh, role play game, this is basically what happens there. There are um, top five PvP are characters or top, you know, you know, five um, skill players, and this is exactly what 
this table represents. So there's a, there's a certain skill that we value and then we have students, we have the opportunity for them to master the skill and then we reward them. So I think it's a nice feature for us to have and to, you know, show students that their mastery is valued and they can be top one, top two instantaneously. This is also very important, it's immediate feedback. They do it at home, they come to school next day and bum, it's there. They don't have to wait till the end of the quarter or the end of the grading period to see who is the top of the class. They can see right away and, it, and at any time they have a chance to, you know, to change this letter board by answering more questions. So it's a nice ecological hook that we as teachers can use to um, get students to practice more. And there's nothing wrong about it. Okay, so this is first thing, the um, top five. Another thing that I've just discovered, to be honest, today, it's a real time. It's right here. So again, if you go to iExcel, uh, it's analytics. Everything is in analytics. As a teacher, this is what we are interested in. And then we go to real time. So this is particularly a useful tool when you do iExcel in class. Sometimes we have some time left and oh, there's actually one student doing iExcel now. And Khaled, well done. If you're watching this clip, give yourself a hand. Um, it's 8.13 in the afternoon and you're still doing iExcel. Well done, Khaled, well done. Totally, I'll, I'll, I will need to mention that tomorrow in the class. But anyway, so real time, what does it do? So as you see, uh, students activity uh, monitors right here and if I were in class right now and I had my students working um, in IXL there will be the entire class here with the uh, their name or uh, the stand not the standard topic they're working on and also the name of the topic questions and how many questions they answer and what is uh, good about that is that there is a um, student may need help warning sign so if at any time there's a student who are continuously fails to give correct answers. Uh, let's say out of last five questions or six, he or she answered uh, one. So then the warning sign will be right here. The entire square will be red and you will see it right away, right off the bat that this unit needs your immediate attention. So this is our, my friends, our uh, um, formative assessment in real time. This is, this is something great. This is something that it's I wouldn't say impossible, but really, really hard to pull off in the classroom under like traditional settings where we have uh, pen and paper or whiteboards, individualized whiteboards. So it's really hard to see where the students are in real time. But this application, this particular tool, the real time, will allow you to see how the students work in. And if you assign a particular um, chapter for them to work on you will see the progress right away and you will see who the struggles and then you can assemble them around you you know do the reteach or remedial work so the potential is great and i just love it i haven't tried it like i haven't i just discovered it today i haven't implemented anything yet but its potential is great and i think you can agree with me and hope you are as excited as i am right now anyway so just to sum up uh two things um Two features. The first one is the top five. We go to dashboard and scroll down. Student asset quick view. Then uh, okay, load it up. Then questions descend in order. And at this point, just a, a small um, disclaimer: make sure it's a descending order, not the ascending order, because otherwise uh, the students who um, answer the least questions will show up, and we don't want to do that. So you have questions and then you can sort out the week as well. This is top five and the real time, the game changer, I think. All right, we have two students right now. Shaha is right there. Well done. We have some students working late at night. Well done, guys. I can see right here. I wish there is a small button here that would say good job from the teacher that I'm here as well. I'm here with you. I'm watching you. Well done. Anyway, so um, that's it for today. Uh, there are quite a lot of features here that um, didn't get my attention yet, but the potential is great, like I said before. So if you like this video, um, give me some feedback. Maybe you've done something else with iExcel that I haven't done yet. But anyways, if you guys like it, I will release another one with uh, more features featured. Okay, anyways, uh, thanks for watching and till next time.